Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the public meeting regarding proposed improvements to the Orange Blossom Trail, or US 441, at Clarcona Okoye Road intersection in Orange County. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plan for improvements to the intersection. We encourage your feedback. There are multiple ways you can submit your comments and questions about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to after the meeting and will become part of the public meeting record. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-772-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at Jacqueline.Paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The project is located in Orange County on Orange Blossom Trail, also known as US-441, at the intersection of clarcona Okoye Road. Based on the results of a 2019 safety study, this project proposes to reconstruct and upgrade the existing traffic signal to include additional signal poles with new signal heads to enhance visibility for drivers and new pedestrian signals. The eastbound right turn lane on clarcona Okoye Road will be extended to provide more space for vehicles turning right. Currently, right-turning traffic backs up onto the through lane. East of the intersection, on clarcona Okoye Road, a two-foot-wide traffic separator will be constructed next to the left turn lane. The traffic separator will reduce the potential for serious crashes by preventing left turns across traffic. The southeast corner of the intersection will be widened and a truck apron added, which will provide additional separation between pedestrians and vehicles turning right onto clarcona Okoye Road. The pedestrian islands in the northwest and southeast corners of the intersection will be reconstructed to provide a stopping area for those crossing the roadway. Crosswalks will be realigned and sidewalk and curb ramps will be reconstructed to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. We are currently in the design phase of the project schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed by spring 2025. Right-of-way is not required for the improvements. Construction is currently funded and expected to start in fall of 2025. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. There are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Friday, February 11th, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. To submit comments in person, you may speak directly to project staff on the floor tonight or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website, 
at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445772-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl.us by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager directly at 386-943-5244 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about the project, please go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 445-772-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. The Florida Department of Transportation thanks you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Friday, February 11th, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445772-1. Thank you again, and remember that safety is everyone's responsibility. <laughs>